Alright, hey guys, welcome back to the video, and today let's talk about a gameplay setting in the actual settings tab of the game that you guys should have a look at, and it might change um, kind of how your gameplay goes, and kind of, you know, your strategy in uh, in terms of like fighting, sieges, and all of that. So what am I talking about? So if you go to your gameplay tab, which is like uh, in your main options, right? Let's go to gameplay right over here. What you want to look for, it's all the way at the top actually, is the unit spawn prioritization. So this is um, always set to default. And what does default mean? So let's first read all the stuff they say on the right, and then I'm gonna do a little bit more explaining, right? So unit spawn prioritization, right? Determine unit spawn prioritization. It's a hard word to say really for me. Default, um, units spawn according to their position in the party roster. What does that mean? That means, um, as you can see my units here, the first units that are gonna spawn are these, 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 it's going to go just down the line. That's your roster right over here, right? So that's the default. Um, sorry about that. Let's go back. All right. Now, if we uh, look next is high level. High level units will spawn first. That makes sense. The higher the level, the, you know, first they will spawn. Low level, pretty much the opposite. Low level units will spawn first. And then at the end, your higher level units will come in. So again, if you want to play the game a little bit differently where your lower level units come in first, you know, they might get more leveling done, but they're also could be used kind of like, you know, kind of like cannon fodder, especially if you have, um, for example, if you're doing a siege and um, you know that the enemy has a lot of, you know, archers and weapons on the walls and you want to let some of those units kind of take the hits and you want your lower level units to take the hits so your higher level units don't die, you might want to choose low level before you do the siege, if that kind of makes sense, right? Uh, and last you have is homogeneous, which is uh, spawn units homogeneously based on their um, troop types rather than their levels. This option will try to fill the ranks with each type of units at the same ratio and ignore their tiers while doing it. So it's pretty much all equal. You know what I mean? They'll, they'll, they'll try to equalize it as much as possible. Give you the you know same amount of low, high, and like you know all types of units all together. And um, and then as they stay all the way at the bottom, the settings above all. Uh, Above apply only to the player's starting composition. The AI will not be affected. If I'm not mistaken, the AI does actually choose different um, different uh, prioritizations. I want to say they all go to default, but I have seen different um, AI do different things. But um, what I would suggest, um, again, you can always tweak this as you're playing the game. Um, I do keep it on default, but again, like I said, if you want to do like the siege route or if you want the, your lower units to go first or your high level units to spawn first, or if you want to try this uh, fourth option, go look at this, go play some, uh, you know, battles and sieges with it and see how you like it. But that'll pretty much do it for me and I will see you in the next one.